Hi, hello. I wanted to come in and give you a little bit of an update. Well, I feel short. Hey. <laughs> a little bit of an update on the red and black table that we've been working on. Let me see if I can turn this around. If you'll remember, I bought a table at a garage sale for 20 bucks that looked like this. This is the center leaf of the table, but there was some damage to the table. Let me see if I can turn that over where you can see. Um, see that? That's a lot of the veneer and stuff missing out of this, which was pressed wood, and it was more effort than I really wanted to put in on this project. I, because I didn't have a clear vision on it at first and I do now and my clear vision shows that I want this table to be small farmhouse tables aren't always ginormous and the one I'm envisioning is for a small starter household who just wants something bright and beautiful and that expresses who they are something reloved and repurposed and that has meaning to just them so that's the intention that I'm putting into this work and the feelings that I have there and why it's important to me. I wanna see if I can tilt this up a little bit. Well, I'm gonna come around this way. I'm gonna tilt this up. These legs are still not on here very stable. Yep, that's showing. But remember, I painted those black. We did that here live. I came through this morning and painted this under edge in black and put a top coat on that. So really from here down, it's done. Other than we're gonna get, uh, it didn't come with the bolts that it needs and we're still working on getting the right size for that. But I like the way that looks. And that was a little black dress by DIY along with Big Top that I put on those. And the top, I did in, uh, what was that, Dixie Belle, um, Honky Tonk Red, how could I forget that, but anyway, I did the, the top, and I went in all these crevices, and so far, it has one coat of, uh, matte top coat on it, and two coats of paint. Even though Dixie Belle has an acrylic base along with the mineral paint in here, it, uh, and doesn't need a top coat. When you're thinking about a uh, surface like the top of a dinner table, something people are gonna be sliding stuff back and forth on and chunking their silverware down and putting a you know 20 pound turkey in the middle of and, and all the things that get slid across, you know, books thrown down and, and things that happen to our tabletop, they go through a lot. They go through a lot, so I really want whoever this ends up belonging to may end up belonging to me because I am kind of liking it even though I don't like red how weird is that anyway it's uh I want this to be good and and sturdy and and you know not scratch up so I'm gonna put at least three coats of probably gator hide because that's the uh water resistant top coat formula from Dixie Belle but if you can and I the grooves that are in here, I'm gonna age this table uh, and make it look time-worn by adding uh, either a black glaze, which I could do now on top of this because it has a top coat, or a black wax, which I find extremely easy to work with, so I'll probably go that direction. But, and here's the cool part of the butt. Uh, if you'll remember last week, if you watched, I was gonna work on one of these and I made my own homemade stencils. This was another garage sale find. And I made my own homemade stencils and, and I sucked at it and it wadded all up and I tore it up. And man, I'm not any good at that. So I went back and just cut it out of the vinyl and continued with the project. But for this, I really want to stencil on here. I really want it to have, to be able to distress it a little bit and have it have that aged and time-worn farmhouse kind of look to it. So I contacted my friend Amy at uh, I contacted my friend Amy at Favored Nest. That's a local sign maker. She does uh, workshops and tutorials and things here, and she sells in our vendor market. And I asked her if she would come do uh, like a guest speaker thing for us here and create a uh, 
farmhouse style stencil for this and then come and show me how to do it and i'll still do it using uh my diy paint to match the bottom uh probably the little white dress and daub that on there but i'm going to do what amy says and she's going to show us how to do it how to apply it how to get it on get it off and any tips that she knows so that it'll go on there perfect so i don't want to put any wax on here already and then have that not adhere well so i'm having to be patient and show a patience that i ordinarily don't have and uh wait for that and i know something else special to go with this is going to come to me and that's why things work that way so i hope that you'll watch i'll announce that live ahead of time and maybe even create an event once i hear from amy when she's going to come and then we can uh, do that together and learn from an expert on that and uh, one other thing just to, that i can recommend i did this this morning this is another one of those this is a goodwill uh what do you call it jewelry box and while i had uh i painted the glass and everything don't know what i'm going to do with it exactly but uh and it has these drawers inside and i put a coat over them too while my paint brush already had black on it i decided what the hey we'll get started on that but uh just watch for me to announce an event and i'll announce if you get if you do get our alerts i'll announce on our alerts ahead of time uh when amy is coming and you can watch and learn from an expert how to apply uh, a stencil that you make off of your own silhouette or cricket or whatever type of cutter that you have and how to apply it and uh, not pull up your paint and how to get it down there and have it not bleed and all the things so that you uh, and I don't mess up any projects doing that. So I appreciate that she's agreed to do that for us and I'm so proud to be able to offer that experience to you. So keep up with the project and we'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by to say hi.